travel across America with me. And now we're headed over to the Utah State Capitol. It was a beautiful evening and the place was crowded. There were families and friends and everybody having a splendid time out on the grounds and people were even flying kites. I would like to tell you a little bit about the Utah State Capitol. I do want to let you know we have toured the Capitol in the past but we were there in the evening time and it was already closed for the day. So we just enjoyed the exterior and the grounds. Originally the capital of Utah was in Fillmore. In 1856 the legislature moved their meetings 150 miles north to Salt Lake City, declaring it a superior location and deeming it the new capital in 1858. City founders designed the streets on a grid system with Temple Square as the hub, bound by north, south, east, and west Temple Streets. And I want to remind you to go watch the Temple Square video. It's amazing what they're doing to the temple. From the square, it is easy to navigate about the city, with only a few exceptions. The streets are numbered. Five blocks south of Temple Square, for example, is 500 South Street. Five blocks east is 500 East Street, and so forth. The picture perfect 100-mile Wasatch Front flanks the city to the east. It's quite a trot uphill from Temple Square to the 40-acre Capitol Hill. Construction of the neoclassical revival Corinthian-style capital began in December of 1912. Constructed of granite from nearby Little Cottonwood Canyon, the exterior has 52 32-foot-tall columns, stunning paintings, and murals of scenes from state history filled the interior. It was inaugurated on October 9, 1916. Tours are free, and it is one of the best things to see while visiting Salt Lake City. I want to show you a few scenes of people capturing that picture-perfect moment at the Capitol on that beautiful evening. Have you subscribed yet? If not, why not? Please do. And if you have, thank you. New. Ugly shoes on the ground. Unclassic road trip.